Hello, welcome to example 2 of the Sidekick Basic Kit for TI Launchpad. You can find the examples and documentation at energia.nu slash sidekick. In example 2, we're going to explore inputs and outputs with push buttons. For this circuit, we will need one push button, one red LED, four jumper wires, optional 330 ohm and 10k ohm resistors, the breadboard booster pack, and a TI Launchpad. Place your launch pad on the top or bottom of the breadboard booster pack. Now insert your breadboard booster pack into the breadboard along the middle spine. You can use either the 20 pin or 40 pin headers. All the example circuits utilize the first 20 pins, which gives us more space to work with on the breadboard. If you need additional inputs and outputs from the launch pad, you can use the 40 pins. If you need to remove the booster pack from the breadboard, use a rocking motion to easily free it. Do not pull directly on the booster pack or you may damage it. The push button has four legs. Two connect one side and two connect the other. When the button is pushed, the circuit is closed. And when it is released, the circuit is open. Connect one leg to pin 19 and the other leg to ground. Connect the longer leg of the LED to pin 18 and the shorter leg to ground. Use the included jumper wires to make the connections. When using LEDs, it is good practice to have a resistor in between your processor pin and the LED as it is possible to burn out your pins with too much current. With these low power LEDs, that is not an issue, so using the resistors is optional. The button can make use of a 10K ohm pull up or pull down resistor to determine its logic, but it is optional in the circuit. Now let's get started with the software. First, plug your launchpad to your computer over USB. Now open up example 2 from the Sidekick code examples. This code will turn on your breadboard LED when the button on the breadboard is pressed. You can also turn on the launchpad LED when the launchpad button is pressed. You can learn more about the concepts of this circuit online under the example page. And that's it. Now you can flash your launchpad with the upload button. Push the breadboard and launchpad buttons to see the LEDs come on. If they are not, try hitting the reset button and go through the troubleshooting tips online under the example page. There are many more example circuits available with the Sidekick. Check out the Energia tutorials and refer to the Energia website for documentation and project ideas. Good luck!